There is a C++ string method uh, called substra, which is short for substring, that lets me access portions of a string. So say I wanted to access just the word world out of this full string. Hello, well, I've numbered them up here so we can figure this out easily. So I want the part of the string that starts at index number six and goes through the end. So if I want that, I can say s.substra, and then in here I can tell it what position I'd like it to start taking letters from. And if I only give it one parameter, it will take as many as it can through the end of the string. So I'll get the whole world word world. Um, if I wanted to use an overloaded version of this function, I can tell it where to start and then how many characters to take. So let's say I only want two letters starting at position six. Then I can get WO, which is the two letters starting at position six. Um, just some things to watch out for. If I put 20 here, and there's obviously not 20 characters after the W, let's see what happens. Uh, it takes as many as it can, but it forgives me for going over the boundaries. If I were to actually change this to the 20 is here, let's see what happens. Okay, so it does not forgive me for going out of bounds on the first parameter. So I have to make sure that this first parameter is within the bounds of the string, so between 0 and 10, or it will crash. Um, so again, two versions of substring, one parameter, two parameter. I don't have to see it out. I can store it in another string. So I can say uh, string s2 equals that. And now my s2 will have the word world in it. So I can use substring to store um, the value. It's not actually removing it from the old string. So let me just prove that to you by printing s here um, after my s2. So it's not altering the original string, but it's just accessing a portion of it. And then you can do whatever you want with that portion.